what's going on? Welcome back to another Sean Solo 8 action figure review. Today we're going to be going over another Star Wars Black Series review. We're going to be checking out Bib Fortuna. It does come with a few accessories. I'm surprised it didn't come with his staff. It came with a couple cups or something in there. We're going to check that out. The side art looks pretty epic. Back Bib Fortuna is number 8 in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. And he does come with a short little bio, so feel free to pause and read that. Boom! Bib Fortuna's out of the package. As you can see, he looks epic, man. You're not going to be able to get him in too many poses. He does come with three cups of some sort. I will show you some close-up on those really fast. Actually, I'll get that out of the way right now. There's one, and it has a little hole on the top. I guess these are cups. Uh, I missed out on the cantina. Wish I could have got it. Here's the second one. Pretty basic. And here's a third, which this one looks like some sort of, who knows what they are. They're just cups, uh, but it's definitely odd. It's nice to get some accessories, but yeah, would have been cooler if he had a staff. The turntable, he looks absolutely phenomenal. I do love the details and the blue just absolutely pops. What a great way this has been so far. Let's go ahead and get him off of here and take a closer look at him. Close up. Man, look at those eyes. That is just crazy cool. Really, really good detail on there. It looks just like him. Are we going to get a fat Bib Fortuna? Maybe one day. These are pretty soft plastic too, so that's dynamite how they've done that there. Maybe we'll, we'll get some of the dancers one day. Who knows? This piece on the back, you can see just epic. The mold is great. I love the blue paints. The, they are connected to the head. Look how big his head is. That's just crazy. You can see little like pimples all throughout. They did a fantastic job. The robe is in several different pieces. And yeah, as you can see, it does disconnect there. But before I take that off and mess with that, let's take a look at his hands. Excellent, excellent alien alien hands. Those are definitely an all-new mold. You can see his fingernails on there. It looks super cool. Both hands are unique, so they aren't cookie-cuttered. He does have these pretty cool bracelets. Uh, I'm not being able to get mine to spin, but they look pretty cool. This is just an overall fantastic job. Look at that. On the inside, that mold looks fantastic. This is all softer rubber. And you can see his neck, it looks fantastic. And he's got this massive, not even a double chin, it's like a triple chin with some weird things popping down there. But yeah, if you're a Return of the Jedi fan, you're definitely going to love this. His arms with the gown do pop up relatively high. So he's got pinless, single-jointed elbows which look fantastic the wrists have inward hinges which look great this one here yeah these are inward too but you wouldn't really see him with weapons if he had a staff this just would have been really really next level the gown is just straightforward there's really not much detail in there at all let's go ahead and pop this off and it looks like, yeah, it just comes off really, really easy. And it's connected into a couple pieces there. As you can see, they just hook right on. Probably, if you wanted to articulate it a little more, you could. Now, without the robe, yeah, he looks cool without it, too. I mean, just really, really a great job on this figure. This here looks like it's just glued on top. The back of the legs uh, do have pins in there, and this is a much, much softer plastic, but you're not going to be able to get him to sit on the throne. Uh, his pants, they almost look like uh, Marvel Legends pants, which is weird, like J Jameson's. And then the boots, see, yeah, they're very small, and looks like he's just wearing slippers, which is cool. Now, kicking forward, you're not going to get much out of him at all. Kicks back really well. Uh, no point in really worrying about his double-jointed knee because you're not going to get him to do much in there. Nice hinge rocker on his foot. He looks up about that high, looks down pretty well. There is lots of emotion in there. And it looks like, 
yeah, there's two neck pieces as it moves again down in there. He does have a little bit of a crunch. So if he's whispering to Jabba, we look cool. I wonder what we're going to see uh, of him in the Book of Boba Fett. You know, if you're picking up Bib Fatuna in the comments below, I will see you guys in the next video.